Aloha and welcome to the additional organelles video. In this one, we will talk about the chloroplasts, mitochondria, the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and finally vacuoles and lysosomes. Okay, we're going to start by talking about the chloroplasts. And the chloroplasts are this bean-shaped organelle that we find in plants. And it's really an important organelle in a plant cell because this is the site of photosynthesis. And we'll talk about photosynthesis a little bit later in the course. Now, inside the chloroplast, there's a couple different things. You'll notice that it has an outer and an inner membrane. So it has two membranes that separate it from the rest of the cell. Inside of that, we find the stroma. And the stroma is this fluid part where the sugar making happens. Okay? We have these thylakoid discs here, and this is where we find the chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a pigment very important for photosynthesis. And if we stack these thylakoid discs on top of each other, we end up with what we call the grana here. Okay, so just a real quick tour of the chloroplast. We'll talk about these a little bit more when we talk about photosynthesis. Okay, next up are the mitochondria. The mitochondria is where cells get their energy because this is the site of cellular respiration. And when we talk about cellular respiration a little later in the class, we'll talk a little bit more about where it happens in the mitochondria. In the mitochondria, we see a couple different things. We see this inner membrane here, which has these folds. These folds are called a cristae, okay? And that's a site for cellular respiration. And there's also this fluid inside, and we call that the matrix. So as we're talking about cellular respiration, and we talk about what happens in the matrix and what happens in the cristae, you'll kind of have an idea of where these things are located. One last thing about the mitochondria, because it is where cells get their energy, we can find the mitochondria in just about every organism's cell. This is how they get their energy to perform the processes that the cells need to to keep the organism alive. Next up is the endoplasmic reticulum, and we can abbreviate that the ER. Now, the ER is where we manufacture a bunch of different macromolecules that the cell will need, and there's two different parts to the ER. There's the rough, and then there's the smooth ER. The rough ER gets its name because it has these ribosomes attached to it, and this is where we manufacture and send out proteins. And that's what the ribosomes do. The ribosomes are where we see protein synthesis happen, and those are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, which makes it the rough ER. On the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is where we'll manufacture other macromolecules that the cell will need to live. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in the lessons in this unit. Now, if we have the endoplasmic reticulum to make the molecules, then what we do is from there, we send these packages to the Golgi apparatus. And the Golgi apparatus is where they are packaged and they'll put into little vacuoles and things of that nature. And they are sent out into the cell or they're sent actually outside of the cell as well. So the Golgi apparatus takes whatever we're making and gets it ready for shipping to get it outside of the cell or for use elsewhere inside of the cell. Okay, the last organelle we're going to talk about in this video are going to be the vacuoles and lysosomes. And these are for storage for the most part. Vacuoles are definitely storage containers. They can ship things around. They can move them in the cell or outside of the cell. But they're also good for storing stuff for later use. Um, plants generally have one major vacuole. It's generally filled with water and some nutrients. For animal cells, then we generally have a bunch of smaller vacuoles in and out throughout the cell. Now, we also have the lysosome, which you can see right here. And the lysosomes contain special enzymes that help the cells digest or break down large molecules, toxic molecules, things of that nature. So vacuoles are for storage, and lysosomes, well, they are for storage in a sense, but they also break down the larger molecules. Okay, so that's it for our quick tour of some of the organelles in a cell. As always, the lesson will explain it in a little more detail, and good luck on your lessons, and we'll see you in the next video.